Uh, how do you feel about the sequels, like Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness, and how way the series went after the original? You know, I, I first of all, I haven't watched them often, and it's been a really long time. But from what I remember, what I like, um, and a lot of people actually don't like them for this reason, but I love the fact that they realized that there was comedy in this, and they took off with it. You know, it was like, there were things in, the, in our Evil Dead, in the original, that were funny, but not intentionally. And then I think that they went, hmm, I think we've got something here with this combination of humor and horror. And so then they took off with it, and I love it. I mean, because I, I'm just a slapstick person, too, so I, I love what they did with that. I think I like, like it the way it was in the beginning, where it was more subtle. Not subtle, but... Um, it just, to me, was too far, the sequence was And I still haven't figured out the sequence from a Morristown, Tennessee cabin to the high desert in Army of Darkness. So. <laughs> okay. okay, we have a question back here. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi. You mentioned having children. How old were they when they first saw Evil Dead, and what did they think? <laughs> well, my daughter's never seen it. And she's 19. Uh, she started to watch it, and really, it's just not her thing. She's a ballerina. Uh, so, she thinks it's cool that I do this, but it's not interesting. Well, we have a 22-year-old and a 19-year-old, and I don't think either of them see this kind of movie. I know that a few years ago, we sat everybody down, meaning we were at a big family gathering, and uh, of course, the moms were fixing dinner, and so we put my kids and all the nieces and nephews in front of the TV. Here, watch Aunt Betsy. And uh, then when dinner was ready, they turned it off, and I'm not quite sure that my children ever went back and watched the rest of it. So, to them, it's, it's a whole different thing, you know. When my son, when my son was younger, and I started going to conventions, he wanted to know what city I was going to, and if at the airport I could pick him up a basketball T-shirt from that city. So that was the most important thing. I spent years trying to hide Evil Dead from my children, for obvious reasons, um, and I managed to do it until one day. At dinner, my now ex-husband um, just referred to it in conversation at the dinner table after I had spent like 10 years trying to not mention it. That's the divorce. Yeah, we're divorced now. Um, but so my kids wanted to see it and then their, their friends started talking about it. And actually, I, my rule was that they couldn't watch it until they were 15. Because, and I still feel that way. Um, I, I don't think young kids should watch these movies. Um, and they, uh, one of my daughters was dying to see it, and she was begging, and she actually made me, uh, asked me to let her and her friends watch it on her 15th birthday at the party. <laughs> and so they did. And my other daughter was just kind of like, eh, so-so. But more, you know, more importantly was what their friends were talking about. Because their friends were watching it and seeing the t-shirts and whatever. But, um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. Both, both my kids now are in performing. And so, you know, it's, it's interesting to see their interest kind of grow in it as, as they learn more about the genre and about directors and... So how many how many of you have seen Evil Dead more than five times? Okay. More than ten? <laughs> more than twenty? <laughs> okay, on a weekly basis in college. Is somebody watching it right now on your phone? Oh my goodness. Okay, well then we should have some pretty good trivia. Response. You ready for some oh, Wait, was there another question? Oh, uh, one more question. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I won't drag this one out. Uh, I really love the movie Brutal Massacre. Um, did you guys have, you ladies have any stories about like Ken Free or Brian O'Halloran or even uh, David Naughton? Yeah. You mean like in a threesome or something? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want to release that in a book, maybe. <laughs> you know, yeah. A, any funny stories about you know things on the set and, st and stuff like that? So it, it seemed like you guys had a lot of fun making that movie. We did. Um, 
we, we have a low budget, as in every other movie that I've been in. And, but in this one, we actually have trailers for the actors, which was amazing. That was a first for me. But we had to share them. So my trailer was with uh, Jerry Bednov. Do you guys know who he is? He's the little Indian guy, the 40-year-old virgin with the foul mouth. <laughs> it's hysterical. I love him. He's one of my closest friends now. Um, so I shared a trailer with Jerry Bednov and Ken Foree. <laughs> so um, when Ken and Jerry first met each other, when we first gathered for the, for the, uh, to shoot the movie, it was an instant hit, and they, they had this kind of Mutt and Jeff thing going, and it was really fun, and they, they, they played off of each other, and they did, like, insult humor and stuff. And then somewhere along the way, something happened, and it turned around and to where they, they weren't such great friends, yet the three of us were still all in a trailer together. <laughs> so that, was, that provided some interesting moments. Um, and yeah, I, I would say that was that provided some of the best moments for me. Well, since Teresa and I were only there for about two or three days, we don't really have actually yeah, really, say, good food. <laughs> really good food. All right, should we do a couple trivia questions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, as as a teacher, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, we keep getting one after another people I'd love to have. For Who's three hours next? on stage, yes. Okay. Oh, like he can't wait. What? Campbell, what? wherever you are. What is he doing? I know you've got people out there, but one question. Okay, one, one question. All right, now, guys, this is tough, so really think. Keep your hands down, Tom. Finish with this question. Within a 10 minute time frame, what time did the wall clock say when the forces entered the cabin and the movie, as they say, changed? Oh, you didn't and the clock and stopped, a, right? And the clock stopped. So within a, when that clock stopped, I'll give you ten minutes within that time frame. What what does anybody know? Come on, a lot of people that have watched it forty five times. What? Two? No. Yes. Three a.m. What? Three a.m. No. Yes. Wasn't it ten to six? Woo! All right. I hear they're uh, racking them up right now. I wish we could keep you guys That's because I love right. you. That's all right. Uh, guys, all right. let's give it up Come for. Thank you. Whoever won that, come on up and get your big who's our, who's our trip to Hawaii. I need mean, closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is too bad we can't because that the trip to Hawaii was coming up next. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, yeah. Heard me, heard me. Oh,